All right, men, and hey, everybody in the family, come be a part of this because it's Movember. And to tell more about this great month is, well, Dr. Charles Arakaki from the Universal Men's Clinic and MMA Hall of Famer, superstar, stuntman, all kind, good guy, Mr. Frank Trigg. And yes, Mr. Trigg, thank you so much for coming. But doctor, thanks for coming in as well. I'm so glad we're talking about this. And, if, and doctor, if someone doesn't know out there what Movember is, what is it and really how important is it to, to all of us, sir? Absolutely. Movember is the movement where we're trying to recognize men health and instead of having a, a pink or a, a white or yellow ribbon the, the our ribbon is our facial hair yeah and so you know it, w the the thing is to grow it out and if someone asks you about it then you just kind of mention well it's about men's health and when's the last time you saw the doctor and and go go get checked out your blood pressure your PSA your testosterone levels you know all of those those things you know and we're such guys we always think I mean I have to be honest with you I haven't gotten a checkup in a while uh -huh. and and talking about that conversation makes a difference but doctor I'm glad you said about the testosterone uh, we've heard a lot about it around the town, but, but you guys are in the forefront of it. What is a test? I mean, the test, what's the whole thing about that, sir? Sure, you know, we, we recommend if you're feeling a decrease in energy, uh, decrease in strength or endurance, libido, uh, these are signs that possibly your, your testosterone could be low. So see your, your physician. You know, there are certain medical conditions that preclude testosterone therapy, so we always recommend see a physician. If you're thinking about doing testosterone therapy, you can see us, you can see your own physician. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's really the key is to do it properly, to do it safely, and that way, you know, you get the efficacy without getting any, you know, side effects. Yeah, right and I love how it's not only that, but you cover the whole body, but I also mean, Men that do amazing things. I'm sitting next to one right here, but but Mr. Trick, and I call yeah. you Mr. Trick, <laughs> sir. You've been a part of this, and talk about your journey and your experience. Because I mean, you're MMA Hall of Famer, you're a stuntman, you're now, and you do physical activities even now, like really, really yeah. active. But how is your journey, sir? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of my best friends is my doctor, and I'd rather see him at the house than go to the office. Like, I'm like every other guy. I, why go to the doctor? I feel okay, everything's fine. Go back three or four years ago. I thought the same thing, but I wasn't sleeping. I was having a hard time getting off the couch. My kids didn't want to come hang out with me anymore. I was exhausted after about five or ten minutes of playing catch. Wow. You know, trying to you know mimic WWE inside the inside the <laughs> living room was yes, not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And it got to the point. Where my kids were like, "We don't want to come over anymore because you're grumpy." Wow. And I was like, "No, I'm not. I'm never grumpy. What's wrong with you?" And then all of a sudden, I was like, "This is an issue. I got to get it checked out." So I went and got looked at, and then. It's been, it's been great. It's been a life changer for me because it's given me the ability to be able to continue to do things like moving in from, from fighting into, into stunt work and yeah. action acting to move into doing more refereeing and, and being active and with the next generation of fighters. And, and even now, like I still have to get checked like everybody else. Just because yes. you are doesn't mean, oh, it's, now it's, it's, it's over. I still have to get looked at. And every now and again, my, my uh, liver enzymes are a little bit high, so I have to counter that. And sometimes my blood pressure is a little high, and I have to counter that. But you still have to get looked at every year. You know, I'm sorry. I'm so glad you say this, because as a professional athlete, your body, your health is so mm -hmm. important. And, you know, for guys out there, we're just like, oh, I don't know. But our, our body and our health is important, mm -hmm. too. So we should be proactive like this. But also, I'd like to say, as we age, doctor, I mean, how do I mean, we always think, oh, it's just age. It's just age. But, but it's not, right? I mean, age goes on. There's something that we should look at and focus on, and you guys can test for those things as well. Sure, yeah. You know, age-associated loss of testosterone is something we call andropause, uh -huh. that 1 to 2 percent loss of testosterone production every year. But there are also other uh, life conditions which could, which could worsen your testosterone loss. Uh -huh. You know, chronic medical conditions, uh, stress, you know, uh, interrupted sleep patterns. These are all risk factors for your testosterone being even lower than just age-associated loss. You know, I love how you say, though, doctor, when someone comes in to see you, you look at the whole thing. It's not just one thing. It could be a combination, because even something small changes makes a big difference, right? Absolutely. You need to uh, review your medical history carefully. You need to make sure that there are certain medications that the patient is not on. So we always, again, recommend seeing a physician if you're considering testosterone therapy. You know, coming to those testosterone levels, though, sir, uh, people like Mr. Trigg, first responders, guys that have jobs that are very high stress, does that also affect the testosterone levels, sir? Yes, it does. Oh. You know, stress, stress-related uh, loss of testosterone is, is also a risk factor for lowering your testosterone. So stress, stressful jobs, yeah, first responders, military, uh, firefighters where you get interrupted sleep patterns as well, even more so uh -huh. that they're, they're at risk for low testosterone. That's amazing. Now, Frank, if there's anybody out there, really, you know, they think, I don't know, but, but is there any words of advice or something you could say to them? I said, Movember, anything you want to let them know, again, something that they should do? You know, you look at when I first came in, um, I was shredded, had a six-pack, I was, you know, veins everywhere. I looked like I could have fought that week. I went in and got checked out, and I was 91, and I was already, you know, having all the other symptoms. 
and you're supposed to be at 348. So I was already well below where I was supposed to be. And I looked, the, the eye test said that, hey, you should be in great shape. Right. You look all right. Now it, it's it's becomes a fact where you can't just look in the mirror. Like they always tell you, you know, don't look in the mirror. You have to like check how things fit and how things work, and exactly. you have to look at your total life. And that's one of the things that UMC does is they look at everything top to bottom. And one thing I always suggest, bring your partner in with you. Interesting. Because when you go through some of the history, you're gonna say, oh no, this this is what I this is what I think it is. Your partner looks at it and goes, no 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 no. It, it's been a lot longer than that. It's been a month. You've been acting weird for like six months. So yeah. let's go back and fix it. And it makes a more honest protocol. I, I think that's a great thing. And again, for everybody out there, men, women, please come down. You got to go see the guys at the Universal Men's Clinic because they look at the whole body and everybody together. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, you guys kind of have a thing heading into the, the holiday season, right? Kind of a, a special out there for people. Anybody first responders, like we said, super stressful jobs, military, union members. Uh, it, usually it's 30 years old and older, but even if you're younger than that, any one of these jobs, come and at least get checked. Yes. Usually it's a 199 intake. We're going to go ahead and take care of that for you. That's beautiful. For this month, just to get you in and look at what your baseline is at. That's you may not be ready now, but at least now you know every year when you get your get your blood work done mm -hmm. that, hey, I've dropped off a little bit. Now I had a significant drop off. What do I need to do to counteract that and help myself out? I love that. You got to know. I love that. We're so lucky out there. Please, Living 808 viewers, again, get in, get well with information, but get that baseline started because this is a relationship I want to have for the rest of my life. I'm going to come down and see you, sir. Thank <laughs> you so much, Mr. Yeah. Drake. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate Thank it. You. This is so cool they came in. <laughs> Notice the facial hair. I've been trying to grow for about a week. I've got nothing, but I'm going to still do it because you guys are going to get healthy and check your health. Thanks for coming in, you guys.